Also some words about the web.0. Compared to web 1.0, the web becomes a platform. Before it was a static website. Now the web becomes a platform with cloud where a lot of information is storage, customer information is storage, which enables firms to better know the customers, to better interact with the customers, to do more personalizations. And on these platforms, uh, you can find a lot of applications uh, such as, uh, yeah, for example, Spotify, Airbnb, uh, Google Doc, uh, which uh, you can use in a collaborative way. Uh, for example, Google Doc, uh, you can share your document on the web and uh, yeah, people can participate and you can write together. Uh, you can cooperate together with students and the group work because they can cooperate, uh, they can interact. But the first characteristic is the web is becoming an interactive platform with a lot of applications. And Google is a good example because Google has a lot of applications uh, like Google Doc, but also Google Map. Uh, you have Google Analytics uh, to analyze uh, web traffic. Uh, uh, you have uh, Google the search engine. You have Google uh, Scholar uh, for researchers. And so they have uh, sharing a lot of applications on the platform, which enables them to collect a lot of information, data, that can be used to do personalization. A second characteristic is user participation. So uh, the platforms live and exist only through users. Right? Imagine Instagram or Facebook without the users. It would be nothing. Right? That's, by the way, if you look at Google+, Plus, Google+, Plus is one of the smallest networks. Uh, it does not work because they have no users. Because most users are on the big social media right? in China, you have uh, WeChat, uh, or in, in Thailand, you have or, over Asia uh, Line. Uh, so people prefer big networks, and all these networks would be nothing without the, the user. And that is why Google Plus does not work. And uh, the users are co creating, as we have just seen, co creating by generating content, contents, uh, videos. Uh, uh, texts, uh, photos, yeah, also by doing crowdsourcing. Yeah? For example, yeah, on TripAdvisor, you have a, a lot of content related to evaluations, product evaluations. Yeah? So the engagement or the, the partic participation comes through user participation when they write reviews for, for example, hotels or other services which are offered on TripAdvisor. Or YouTube yeah, is clearly participative as users publish videos and the videos are actually, it can be fun videos, but it can be also serious videos. Some YouTubers earn a lot of money by doing advertisements for the brand. For example, they show, write a tutorial how to use a given brand product, for example, a smartphone. And then these tutorials uh, attract followers and the more these YouTubers have followers, uh, the more they earn money. If you have a lot of followers, uh, uh, a lot of brands will do use your YouTube channel to do advertisements and you will be paid whenever somebody clicks on your YouTube video. Most of my lectures, I have my own YouTube channel on which I've put my uh, videos, uh, so which enables our students to follow my lectures yeah, from home remotely. This enables me to change a little bit the pedagogy of my, my lectures. The students look at my videos before, and then we can do quite quickly interactive exercises, case studies, discussions, questions. And so it changed also the way how we do our lecture. You can see Web 2.0 changes every domain of our life. The Web 2.0 is also characterized by scalability, where so you can put unlimited resources on the media because this is actually also the gold mine of the brands. And because the more you put resources, the more the platform becomes interesting for other customers. And the more also the, the firms collect big data to do personalization. Unlimited resources can be shared by aggregating a highly dispersed offer and demand. And you can synchronize, optimize, aggregate a large number of small information and repetitive activities.
Web 2.0 is also perpetual be better, you know, which means that uh, it always improves and you've never a finished version of your software, like for example, Office. There are network effects, which are very important, which means that the more users use the network, the higher will be the value. You know, this is what I told you just about Google Plus, because if you compare Facebook or LinkedIn uh, with Google Plus, there are high network effects for Facebook and because Facebook has more than 2 billion of users, whereas Google Plus has something like 100,000 users. So it's not very attractive because if you cannot find your friends on the network, you have no network effects. And so network effects are clearly, the more users a network has, the higher will be the value because you will have much more information than you can find on, on a small network. And this is also the case for TripAdvisor uh, or YouTube. Right? They are the biggest change, uh, ch uh, change uh, for booking TripAdvisor, the first one. And that is why they have most evaluations uh, and reviews. And this makes it more interesting than a small website where you don't have these network effects. And finally, Web uh, 2.0 is also a reputation economy because consumer feedback or participation is crucial and creates trust. Uh, this is typically uh, the ratings you can find on Amazon or TripAdvisor uh, are highly important because today, 80% uh, of the customers do not look at what is written by the brand or advertised by the brand, but they look at the reviews or the positive or negative word of mouth, which is written by the brand. And so this is about the web.0 or uh, what is characterizing social media. So in summary, there are platforms with a lot of applications. They engage uh, uh, users in order to participate and co-create content, photos, videos, uh, text. There are unlimited resources and because you can put whatever you want. Huh? There's no space limit. It is improving per permanently. A very important network effects. Uh, if you want to succeed on social media, you have to use the network effects. The more you have users, the more attractive you become. Right? So customer acquisition is very important and it is characterized by reputation because even their algorithms will increase your placement in the visibility and attractivity through the feedbacks right? or the reviews. The better you're rated, the better, the higher you will also page ranked on the Google search engine. <music>